So, <clears throat> I just came from Home Depot. Yeah, man, you wouldn't have wanted to be there with me. I cannot believe that with, you know, 750,000 people a week filing for unemployment that they can't hire somebody who knows a damn thing about gardening. I, I roamed around, I said, do you know anything? Because they're all working in the garden department. What the hell are you doing getting a job? I mean, that's like hiring somebody to program who doesn't even know how to program on a computer. You know, or, or so, hiring a secretary to be a typist that doesn't know how to type. I mean, oh my God, you wouldn't have wanted to be there with me. And, uh, and then, you know, the seedlings, it, 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 almost false advertising. It said two, 250 Okay, I said, well, 250 for eight little plants. I'll, I'll pay that, you know, that's not that big a deal. And uh, it was per plant. You know, I, so now I, I just spent a ton of money the, and bags of dirt. Now, they couldn't tell me what damn dirt to buy. Okay, now this is the finishing touch. This is the top layer. Now I got all that black dirt that Jonathan dropped off for me. But I saw... So, well, the Miracle Grove, we think that's supposed to be. I said, well, that's a name brand. Of course, it's going to be expensive, you know. I said, what about this organic uh, garden dirt over here? I said, is this any good? Oh, we don't know. I can let me Google it for you. Yeah, I can Google it, you dumb, stupid person. Oh my God, don't get me started. Oh boy, I was on a tirade. You know, I can't believe these businesses. They just they got it. They want to save a buck or two, and they hire people that don't know squat to work in a department. I was like, imagine the guy working in the electrical department, and he doesn't know anything about electricity. You know, how stupid can you be? Oh man, I well, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a rant, but uh, I'll show you once we get the plants in what it looks like, and uh, and that'll be it for the garden. And then that project is done. I got the leaves out of the. The gutters yesterday at least I got that done got to put the ladder away and uh, we're knocking it out one one project at a time here and uh, soon I'll have everything done and then I can have some fun I want to I want to go hiking you know I want to go hiking I don't want to be working on the damn garden all the time all right peace out you guys so for better or worse just because at Home Depot nobody there knew a damn thing about uh, growing vegetables which doesn't surprise me. Um, this is what I settled on. This is called the All Natural Garden Soil Organic. Uh, I mean, it says well, water saving, fruits and vegetables. Uh, you know, I mean, who knows? And I uh, put that in. I mean, it does look good. I, I, I think I might have bought the right thing. Um, the only reason I bought it was it was... It was seven dollars, but look at the size of that bag. And and actually, I bought one bag too many, um, so I'm going to be taking taking one back because I didn't need a, need all of them, which is good, you know. And I'm taking some of the plants back. Like I said, I you know I think it was false advertising in my mind, but uh, you know I bought a whole tray of because I thought I was getting it for two fifty, and it was two fifty a plant. And uh, so I'm taking some of them plants back because that's what they you know. They, I, you know, I'm, these companies are just out of their minds. I mean, all the employees, they kept going, well, if your plants don't grow, you can bring them back. And if your plants don't grow, you can bring them back. And I mean, I'm thinking, you know, well, that's costing Home Depot money every time I bring stuff back. But that's what, you know, that's what they've taught their employees to do. Uh, it's just, it's just a, a sickness in this country. Um, so this is where the garden stands. So, you know, the first plants did go in the ground It rained today and, uh, I'm just doing laundry, and uh, we'll get another video up here soon. So here's what's going back to Home Depot. You know, when I, like I said, when I bought the tray, you see that price right there, two ninety eight. I thought that was for the whole doggone tray, and it was per plant. But uh, let's get around here. I just want to show you the, the of course, the weather dog. You know, that's what I call them now. I don't call them weather men. I don't call them weather women. I call them weather dogs because my dog does a better job of predicting the weather here in Florida than uh, the weather person or whatever you want to call them but uh, now is this going to grow I don't know you know all I did was I put them bags of soil in here these are cherry tomatoes they're supposed to be about uh, 30 inches apart uh, and then I got some jalapenos right here and uh, I'm going to put the um, string beans because nobody could give me any information other than the VFW Lisa and, uh, you know, she told me uh, what to plant. Um, I don't know. I know I, I know the peppers are probably going to do good. I don't know about these tomatoes. Uh, now, you can see they, they're they going to get a little bit of sunlight. 
uh, being on this side over here, and that's why I put the tomatoes right here. Uh, you know, we're going to get this, you know, once things dry out completely, because we did get a little bit of rain, but of course it was supposed to rain all day. Now, if you see, I got the sprinkler right here. Have I tested the sprinklers yet? No. Um, so we're going to have string beans and then peppers again. And I don't know what I'm going to put down here. Uh, but you can see this new soil that I bought. Seven, almost eight dollars a bag for this. Uh, but I'm thinking that's that should be a good good ground cover to uh, hopefully suppress the weeds a little bit. Um, and then once I put the seeds in the ground, uh, you know, I'll be marking them with these flags over here. And you can see the tape measure right there. And, uh, and then this project will be done. And uh, think about it. Uh, I'm just going to throw up a quick video. You know, we got we got the new hot water heater. I uh, got that my wife. Uh, oh, man, she went nuts on that. Oh, it was still working. It was still, I said, you didn't even see the video. I said, it took them four hours to put the doggone thing in because the other one was in such bad shape, you know, and I got it for 1500 I think that was a bargain considering two guys working for four hours at $60 an hour. Yeah, she just doesn't think, you know, these, these damn liberal Democrats, they, they just don't have a brain cell in their head. Um, but uh, anyway, that's uh, that's just my opinion. Um, like I said, I'll probably be, <laughs> I'll probably be divorced here soon. <laughs> but uh, unless she comes around, I mean, I'm hoping she'll start listening to me and uh, understanding, you know, what resilience is and what it takes to to get ready for the coming financial collapse. You know, like I showed you, we bought three more silver coins to short the. Oh, by the oh man, check it out! I've been watching uh, YouTube videos. Rick Rule is all over youtube now uh he's speaking his mind and he's talking about things and uh he says uh you know the silver squeeze is working people i mean it's a it's a huge huge i mean you, you're not gonna squeeze squeeze it like you did the game stock okay that's just not gonna happen you know it, it uh but i mean have we taken physical silver off the market yeah yeah, in fact, the thousand ounce bars are getting rare right now. They're having, to, they're, they're, they're projecting out to April uh, or May on some of the orders for uh, industrial metal. Um, so, so the big boys now, the big boys are going to get involved because once, you know, once you got big uh, companies like Tesla or uh, you know, let's just uh, you know any industrial company that uh, these car companies, once they can't get uh, their silver. For making uh, the new Green Deal, uh, solar panels and all of that stuff, um, they're 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 gonna they're gonna be looking to to buy it up. Um, so I think the silver shortage is gonna continue. Um, this isn't financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing on YouTube. And uh, it, whether you know, I I don't think you go wrong buying silver. I mean, what's wrong with it? I mean, it's 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 a it's something that's gonna hold its value. Uh, and you know, I'm looking at the dollar. The dollar's devaluing. Uh, the ten-year treasuries. Nobody bought them. Uh, are we heading for financial catastrophe? I think so. Uh, I, I'm sure I'm probably wrong. I've been wrong about everything in life. But uh, you know, who knows? Um, so anyway, this is uh, this is it. We're going to throw up a quick video today. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing, and uh, you know, you can listen to me or not. I don't care. Only 20 people watch these videos anyway, and uh, but I, you know, I, I you know, it, it was kind of like when they took Parlor down, they took down my voice. I mean, that was my ability to communicate to people, uh, you know, uh, in a in a fashion that I thought was important and my conservative views. And I'm a conservative. I don't consider myself Republican or Democrat. Uh, I used to be independent, um, but I, I'm definitely more on the uh, Republican side now. Uh, and man, I was a registered Democrat, but when they lost their freaking minds, now they're talking about reparations for slavery, and they're the, they're the party that represented the Confederacy during the <laughs> Civil War. So maybe they're feeling guilty, and they just feel like they gotta, you know, give reparations to to, to to people that aren't enslaved anymore. We had the whole Civil Rights Movement. We had the Civil War. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of white people died in that war to free. The slaves in the South, uh, and, and so but now you know now because they fought and gave up you know by the thousands their blood to free blacks. Now we have to pay reparations according to the Democrats. Now uh, anyway, I, boy, don't get me started. I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, you can see, you know, I, do I have some more work to do? I mean, this was my aloe vera plant. Um, I think it probably will come back this summer. Who knows, you know? You see, there's still some green on it. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to it. Here in Florida, man, I mean, things will surprise you. you know, they look they look dead, like this 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 uh, little fern here and this fern here. I mean, they look dead. Uh, this guy looks ha about half dead. But, uh, boy, I tell you, during the growing season here in Florida, well, look at the bush. Look at the bush. Oh, man, I can... I, well, let's... Okay, let's get the story behind this bush. I went to the... Um, the garden place and I asked them I said I want something that's going to grow to be three feet tall uh, just to kind of cover up that uh, hose reel back there uh, no I did a good job I think it looks very nice right I mean I put that wood in there and then built that whole thing because I didn't want to you know you don't want to screw that into the wall you know I don't want to mess up my wall after you know how many thousands of dollars I spent on that paint job and uh, they said oh yeah 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 this this would be a good purchase this this would be great and uh, and and so I went back and I said, man, the thing grows like like a, a, a sprout. I mean, I, that's only two years of growth. I mean, look at the size of that thing. It was, you know, it was like about this big when I planted it. And uh, I said, I said, I told you I wanted something that would grow to three feet. Oh, we thought you meant you needed to trim it to three feet. And you know what? I told them idiots. I told them, I said, look, I'm semi-retired. I don't want any maintenance. I don't want to have to deal with anything. I don't want to be out here trimming this freaking thing you know every uh couple weeks uh i said i said i told you and they said well we we thought you just wanted to be able to trim it back to three feet because you can trim it back to three feet oh yeah thank you so much and i told you i didn't want any maintenance no maintenance i said what does the word no maintenance mean to you idiots you know this is the thing you deal with in life you know there's so many stupid people that exist it's just it's just unbelievable uh you know oh man i tell you and then that that crepe myrtle that almost killed me right here getting that damn thing out you know i i just uh anyway all right that's enough for this video uh you know I, i've been on a rant i mean i'm on a rant uh you, you wait to the, the beginning of the video is the home depot rant now i'm on the bush rant because you know they advised me incorrectly uh you know and, and, and nobody could tell me what i needed to plant except lisa and uh she said mainly uh, peppers should grow, um, uh, some lettuce, uh, which I, I don't have any seeds for, and I'm not going to buy any more of these plants. I mean, 250 a plant. Who the hell wants to pay that? You know, when I can uh, germinate my own seeds. Now, next year, I'll be germinating my seeds in the house uh, before the growing season here. And, uh, and then I won't be paying nobody for this. But uh, this is the first year that I've got a garden because of all that rock that was in here because that idiot homeowner that was here before me put a put a rock garden in here rather than having the vegetables growing because uh, like i said the community you know they don't want you to grow your own damn food um so i gotta hide it back here in the back uh so that they can't see what i'm doing you know screw them man screw them you know these old people you know they, they've they've basically ruined every damn thing for our younger generation you know we're we're a gazillion dollars in debt you know yeah we voted in ourselves medicare we voted ourselves in social security you know what are the youth going to get they're going to get nothing man when they all when the whole system comes crashing down you know the youth and the nation's just going to rise up i hope they kill all the old people you know i mean well i shouldn't say that i i'm okay you know i i, I hope they get mad at all the old people that did this to them because it's wrong it's just been wrong what 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 we have done to to our younger uh generation we should have been looking out for them you know anyway that's it for now all right bye bye